we have bad news for Honda lovers. During the TFL slip test, the newly redesigned 2023 Honda CRV Hybrid failed to perform as anticipated. We know it is shocking and disheartening, but if you're looking out for this particular model, you need to watch this whole video to come to some conclusion. So, welcome back to Tech Addicts. We provide you all authentic and transparent information that helps you take a rational decision when it comes to automobiles. So, let's not waste any time and get into the video. A handful of the all-wheel drive traction tests are difficult to pass for the redesigned Honda CR-V Hybrid. The new Honda CR-V Hybrid should offer the best of all worlds in terms of fuel economy, as well as a driving experience that is safe and comfortable on a daily basis. Using the TFL slip test, Tommy puts a variety of all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles through their paces to determine which ones perform the best. The majority of automobile manufacturers sell the majority of their crossovers specifically for their combination of practicality and dynamics. However, how does Honda's most recent hybrid crossover perform when put under scrutiny? To summarize, its performance was not at all what we had anticipated. Watch the following video to see how it turned out. 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid retains much of the same mechanical underpinnings as the previous generation's model. In addition to an electric motor that is positioned on the back axle, this new model utilizes an Atkinson cycle, four-cylinder engine that is 2.0 liters in displacement. Together, the components of the system are capable of producing 204 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque. In contrast to the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, Honda's solution utilizes a mechanical, all-wheel drive system which directs the power from the electric motor to the front axle only when it is necessary to do so. It is possible that the lack of a physical connection between the gasoline engine and the electric motor in the Toyota, which is what we replicate with the TFL slip test and what drivers experience in the real world on the Onyx off-road course, will be problematic in certain situations in which the rear wheels lose traction. In spite of the fact that the CRV hybrid performed admirably in two-wheel traction loss scenarios, the results of the three-wheel slide test, in which only one wheel at a time is actually making contact with the ground, were not particularly encouraging. These tests are aimed to highlight a range of real-world scenarios that you'll want to consider when comparing the exceptionally competitive crossover market segment to the Honda CR-V Hybrid, but it doesn't mean that the Honda CR-V Hybrid is a bad car by any stretch of the imagination. Let us look at the pros and cons list of the 2023 Honda CR-V Hybrid to be a bit more precise about the model. Since its introduction to the market in 1997 as one of the very first compact SUVs available in the North American market, the Honda CR-V has been a customer favorite. But it has not been able to keep up with the competition in the market and, as a result, it has lost ground over the years to an expanding number of rivals whose designs are superior. Honda has successfully navigated their way back into the right path with the launch of the revamped CR-V in 2023. The redesigned Honda CR-V has a roomier and more high-end interior that is also somewhat larger than before. The sport utility vehicle has been updated with additional technological features, including a more advanced infotainment system. There are four different trim levels available, including two hybrid models and two that include an improved version of the standard 1.5-liter four-cylinder gas engine. The hybrid offers superior overall performance in addition to a number of additional advantages. Some insiders have recently revealed that they have sampled a number of different trim levels and driven both the hybrid and non-hybrid iterations of the 2023 CR-V. In addition, they have had the opportunity to spend some time behind the wheel of each of these vehicles. The new CR-V is a significant step forward, but it is not without its flaws. So let's start talking about the pros or advantages of the particular vehicle. Number one, a great hybrid. The modernized hybrid powertrain consists of a gas engine with four cylinders and a capacity of 2.0 liters, as well as two electric motors for a combined output of 204 horsepower. 
When compared to the previous hybrid, this indicates a marginal increase in power. Nevertheless, the most important change is the increase in torque, which went from 232 pounds-feet to 247. This contributes to the hybrid CRV's enhanced responsiveness and increased rate of acceleration when moving from a stop. Number 2. Handling is in control. Even though it isn't exactly fun to drive like a sports car, the hybrid has better handling than the previous generation of the CRV. The new CRV has a more confident sensation while turning curves thanks to improvements made to the steering. The new CRV, despite being larger than its predecessor, has a sportier driving experience. This will result in a decrease in the overall ride quality, but the ride will still be comfortable. Number 3. Renovated Internal Areas the new CRV features a dramatically upgraded interior, which is one of the most welcome upgrades to the vehicle. In addition to having more space than its predecessor, improved seats, and a back seat that even adults will find comfortable, the cabin has also been upgraded with higher quality materials and controls that are simpler to operate. In addition to the restoration of physical controls for climate and audio operations, the overall design has been updated to be more sanitary and inviting. Number 4. Shifter that's very straightforward A further advantage is that Honda has done away with the standard shifter that was positioned on the dashboard in gas vehicles and has replaced it with a console-based lever instead of the much less desirable push-button system that was used in hybrid models. It's conveniently located exactly where it ought to be, and one does not need to glance down to utilize it. Number 5. Additional Guards Against Danger Monitoring the vehicle's blind spots is now a common feature, and the fields of view of the camera and radar have been expanded to improve the detection of humans and other objects. In the case of a collision, improved protection has also been implemented in the form of modified airbags. And number six, increased capacity for cargo. According to Honda, the redesign resulted in an increase of up to three cubic feet in the amount of space available behind the back seats in comparison to the previous model. This improvement was made possible by the already generous amount of room available in the cargo area. In addition, the motorized liftgate can be equipped with a foot release, making it much simpler to get entry into the area, even if your hands are full of cargo. Now talking about the cons of the variant. Number one, it has a disappointing gas engine among other things that are not likable. Unfortunately, the gasoline-powered version of the CRV didn't leave us with the same positive impression as its hybrid counterpart. The 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine with 190 horsepower is mated to a continuously variable automatic transmission, which results in a sluggish driving experience, especially when the vehicle is started from a stop. When you get up to highway speeds, things get even worse, as evidenced by the CRV's increasingly strained and loud sound under acceleration. Number 2. Visibility that is compromised The old CRV had poor sight in the rear, while the new one has a far better view up front. Because it's positioned in the ceiling, the middle seat belt in the back blocks a significant portion of the view behind the vehicle. The rear seat head restraints, the diminutive back windows, and the thick pillars all contribute to the decreased rearward visibility. Number 3. Unresponsive brakes we really enjoy how much better the driving experience is in the new hybrid CRV, although we're a little disappointed in how the brakes perform. The pedal has a mushy feel to it, and the feel is not linear at all. However, Honda has devised a method to eliminate the use of the pedal entirely by installing a B button on the shift lever. Pressing this button activates the vehicle's regenerative braking system. It does a decent job of slowing down the CRV when going down slopes, but it cannot bring the vehicle to a complete stop. The gas-powered models have brakes that have a more solid feel to them. Number 4. No Plug-In Hybrid Honda's moving closer to an all-electric future with the introduction of features for the hybrid CRV, such as regenerative braking. However, in contrast to Toyota and its RAV4 Prime, the company does not provide a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle variant. We believe that this is an option that should be reconsidered given the current state of the market and how much fun it is to operate the RAV4 Prime. Well, all we can say is, you meet the nicest people in a Honda. That's all for today's video. Do tell us in the comment section below which models of your preference, and we'll be back with more such videos. Until then, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.